everyone, welcome back. This is part seven of my complete colouring book collection, uh, including the pages I've coloured in said books. I'm a bit exhausted, so let's get started. Uh, so this one is My Little Art Gallery, colourful mandalas. This was actually from Lidl's supermarket. It's very big. They will come out. As you can see, they're just... That's a good one. Really nice pattern mandalas. Now, I have done one in here. I've got to find it. Let's have a look. I think it's right at the back. These pages do come out. Um... Where's the one I've done? I think it's somewhere towards the back. There it is. And it was just uh, done with Sharpies and it's this one. You can see how big it is. You see, they, just, they, just, they just come out like that. I should probably put them in a, an art folder really. So there's that one. There for now. And then these are the big ones that I can't stand up because they're too big. And then I've got the Star Wars. Excuse me, I'm just trying to strain. That's a bit better. Uh, the uh, an anti-stress coloring book. I, I like this one. I got this for May the fourth day one year. Now Paul's done a couple in here. I've only done one. I think. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. Paul did with this one. Um, but I do like the book. Ah, brilliant. Little mandalas are quite nice as well. They're double sided, unfortunately. Um, he's not allowed to do any of Leia. I said, no, I'm doing them. And I did this one of um, Yoda with metallic pens, some pencils, and some a Posca pen or some acrylic pen on the back. That's uh, acrylic paint, and Paul, uh, Paul did the one of C3PO as well. I quite like that one. But, uh, yeah, did that one. Uh, sometimes he colours, but not very often. Then we've got the, the Sweet Shop by Chris Price. This is one of these weird ones that opens top ways, but I really like it. I think these are lovely. I must do another one in here. Again, like most of the books, I've only done one in it, and it's this one. And you can tell this was done by Everblend with Everblends because it's gone yellow on the top. You can't see it, but it has. And um, uh, glitter gel pens, metallic gel pens. I enjoyed doing that. It was really nice. It hasn't gone through the the paper, and this is so thick. It's fantastic. I think it's lovely. It's lovely paper. This that's lovely. That's that one. Oops. Smash. Then we have Zemla Schnova by Tomislav Tomic. I've only done, again, one in here, but this is such a lovely book. But as with the, the other one, which is called Villain San, and it's got another name, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. But very detailed. This one is mostly double pages. Or... They're... they're but, back to back so you haven't got any blank pages that you can perhaps do markers in but look how detailed it is but it is such a beautiful book I do understand I like these ones why people find it quite intimidating and don't want to do it I have done this one of the, the harpist and I enjoyed doing that one I can't remember what pencils it was with I've got to be honest it was a while back now it is a beautiful book, but again, yes, I find it particularly daunting myself, which is probably why I've only done that one. But at least I have done that one. Right. The only one I have from Daria Song is The Time Garden, because I bought this at Greenwich when we went to there. And uh, I'm going to have to go and change the battery in a second. Again, I've only done one picture in this. I do think it's beautiful. It's very, very detailed. Uh, and the only one I've done is this double page of the, the stars and her lying in the stars. So it's black acrylic background and lots of gel pens and some pencil on them. the girl. I like it. I don't know how I'm going to do any more of them. So, But I do like the book. I'll go and change the battery and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next one we've got is 
Mesdemoiselles under the sea colouring for mindfulness. This was two pound in the works. I bought one. I bought two copies. One for me. One for my friend and Harrod. And it's all obviously under the sea stuff. <laughs> where he's sleeping on there. I have done one double page spread in here of the uh, I guess a kind of octopuses type things or jellyfish things. They got little red lips, and the bubbles in the lips are done with stickles and the background and the pink is Prisma colours. As you can see, they're really great fish uh, pictures. I just, it's like with every the turtles. I love turtles. It's just having time to do it. It's the same with everything. I do apologise if you can hear the fan. It's really hot in here because obviously I've got my light on and that light gets very hot. I've got the Doctor Who colouring book. This is the first one that came out, official BBC books. Well, through Penguin. Um, so you've got these sort of like mandala type ones. The TARDIS. That's a snowman. That's a clock. I do like the way it does say on the other side what it's from. So this is from the girl in the fireplace. Madame de Pompadour says, one may suffer a world of demons for the sake of an angel. It's quite a nice one. As you can see, there's various Doctor, uh, Matt Smith. The Oud, Adipose, inside the TARDIS, that's the Sixth Doctor, Seventh Doctor, no, uh, oh, Seventh Doctor, it's hard to tell sometimes because they're not very like them in some cases, that's the the Fifth Doctor, I'm assuming that's supposed to be Nissa, judging by the clothing. So you've got a few older doctors in here. Um, I've only done this one page, which is the Weeping Angels, because I just wanted to do them. No idea what pencils, probably Prisma colours. Plenty of greys in those Prismas, I tell you. But I do love these Doctor Who books. So I'm sipping my tea, which is rapidly going cold. Next, we've got the second Doctor Who book which is Travels in Time. Let me move that out of the way. <laughs> Travels in Time colouring book. Again, this has got more doctors across the areas, but it is, again, mostly the new doctors. So that's the one where they went to America. So you've got Marilyn and Frank. And I have no idea who that's supposed to be. Obviously, Matt Smith. I have no idea. Is it supposed to be Amy and Rory? I don't know. After watching again, the second doctor. And that's that one. Can't think of what it's called, but they're all very good. And like I said, most of them are the more modern who, but that's the second doctor again. Again, this is Tenant's doctor, the next one because it's from Girl in the Fireplace. And there's lots of them. That's the fourth Doctor. And the first Doctor story. It's uh, Peter Capaldi on top of a tank playing a guitar, as he does. And there he is again. Um, yeah, I like these. Again, I've only done the one. Oh, there's a, another good one. I like, actually quite like that one. Centurion. And I've done this one from Time Flight of Nissa Teagan and the Doctor and the Concord. We did this on camera earlier this year and I really do like this picture. I really, really like this one. It's one of my favourite ones I've done. Next we're on to my Johanna Bassford books. Apart from the one I've got a whip in. <laughs> Secret Garden. Again, I've only done one in all of these except for the Christmas one. So as you can page, the pages are nice and cream, but they actually look really yellow in this light because this daylight light, light. They're off white basically. And the only one I've actually done is this double page, and I think it was Prism Colours, but I can't say for sure. 
with one of the first ones I did in, in uh, a Johanna Basford book, if not the first book I did in a Johanna Basford book. And I, I'm quite pleased with it. I still am after this all this time. I think I might go in and do some with gel pens, like this mandala one here. I love this one. There are so many, and they're beautiful books. They really are gorgeous books, these Johanna Basford ones. I, again, I'm not one of these people who will draw in there, and I, I don't like that, because it sort of like spoils it for me. But uh, there you go, that's, that's Secret Garden. But I do like them. I do like the pictures. I'm, not, I'm no good at drawing, so. And we've got Magical jungle and I've only done one in there so I must have only done one in there so I can see or I might have been two in this one actually now this one tends to have only single sided pages so you can use markers unless of course oh that's a test page there uh, so they are double sided it's just for some reason there are some extras at the back so that's a great one isn't it so I do like them again I don't really like colouring the animals. I do like colouring the flowers and the, the things. Although the lizards might be quite cute, the iguanas and stuff. So in this one, I did this. Ah, oh yes, that's right. This one with um, the Asus Sakura jelly rolls. And I can't remember what the markers were. I think they're just cheap ones from Lidl's, to be honest, looking at them. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it? I think there might be another one in here. It might not be. That might be it. I think that might be it, actually. Uh, see, terrible I am. Yeah, that's the only one I've done in that one. Oh, I must come and do that butterfly. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. And then we've got Johanna's Christmas. You can see there's a few marks on the cover. So you can tell I've done a lot in this one, or a fair bit anyway. I love my Christmas books. And go from the back it's just easier to flick that way so as you can see there's still lots to do in here i love anything like that so i've done this one it's pencils but i couldn't tell you which ones this was done with ink tents and glitter glue i do like these oh, that's beautiful I mean, as you can see, there's so many I still have not done in this book. There are still a couple more that I have. I can find them. <laughs> so, oh, I love that, all those gingerbread houses. So I've done the nutcrackers, and they were just done with uh, various gel pens. And that was done, again, with ink tents and gel pens and no ink tents and stickles for a bit of the, the glitter and I think that's it apart from yeah I've done that part of the cover I like I don't count the covers well I do sort of count them as whips but I'm not worried about putting that in the whip pile because it's I, I, I was debating how to do the tiny little ones but I'm actually going to do it in glitter gel pen so it'll be finished. I think that looks like it's uh, gel pens and then after that one we've got Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Who hasn't got Ivy and the Inky Butterfly? Yeah, I have done hardly anything in this and I'm doing it in order so I've actually only done this page. <laughs> uh, well uh, that was done with Black Widows. I'm going to try and do this page next month have done the this book belongs to and the introduction and that page so I do like this I'm really going to try and do one of those in September because we're near the end of August now so I'm not going to do it okay next one is a world of flowers again nice one they're all really nice Again, I haven't done hardly, I've only done this one. That was done with, gosh, which watercolours? It was done with watercolour pencils, but I can't remember which ones. It would have been the WH Smith ones, I think, probably. That's all done with watercolours. It looks really nice, actually. I think it looks better than I, I remember it. I did this one on camera, or most of it on camera. So I want to try and use the pastel ones in here. 
on some of the flowers. Maybe on the truck, I don't know. But yeah, very nice. Oh, that's a nice one. So they're all... Oh, let's just go back to Hannah Basford. I just love the books. And then, of course, we've got Worlds of Wonder. Done a few in here now. Not many, but I've done more in here than I have in some of the books I've had for longer. Um, but yeah, I do like this one. I love this one of the, the tree house. And so, I don't know where the first one is. The first one is, is this the first one? No. So I did this one and Jennifer started picking the colours. So she picked orange for the background, for the sky and purple for one of the clouds. And then I just carried on picking very strange colours. Body colour I did with Chelsea Jane, Jade Murray colouring um, last month. That was in July, and it is Prisma colours and uh, metallic acrylic paint. I really like that. So I, I, yeah, I really want to crack on and do some more of these. And I've done the, the front cover, which was done with Black Widows. That first one I did was done with Black Widows and Prisma. But yeah, so that's the one. Oh, I love all these books. And then we've got Romantic Country number one. Obviously we've just seen, we saw Romantic Country two in my whips. So I've done a few in here and I started the front page and abandoned it on the front map. But I, mean, I do love this book. I love both of them. I've got to get the third one off of Etsy because I haven't got it. More books! <laughs> Trick or treat. I might do that one this year. Henry books again. Oh, I did Henry books. It was, it was, oh. I loved it, but it took so long because there were so many books <laughs> to colour in. So I did do this one. I'm pretty sure, not this one, but there was one that was a colour along. I don't know what pencils it was, but I really enjoyed doing that one. The girl in the duck. Excuse me, I'm yawning. I must be getting very tired. I must do that one. I like that one. They are, these are all fa fabulous pictures, I've got to be honest. And then I also did this one. This was done as a colour along. I can't remember who it was with, but it was done on a colour along. Either one of the Facebook groups or one of the YouTube channels. And it is just a uh, prism colour pencils. I can know that because that's Tuscan Red. And, but this back here is um Koinor tricolours for the bricks and I do want to get some more I do want to get the full set of those at some point that's those so that's that book pretty much and I've just I started doing a map with ink heads and just stopped because I hated it <laughs> I'm sure I will finish it off again I don't count it as a whip and I've got to do that part of the map as well yeah so that's romantic country Got Imagimorphia by Kirby Rosanis. And I love these books. I do find them intimidating. They're not too bad now. I've done one, which is the one I've done in this book. I don't feel so bad doing them. I still look at this one and I'm thinking, oh, no, no, no. But then I look at it and think, well, those are flowers. That's the, yeah, I, I could do that, that. So you do start seeing how you would colour them. Um, but I do want to try and do one in each of his books before I go back because I've got them all and I've only coloured in one well I've finished one in one and I've got a whip in the other as you know and I did this double page spread of the balloons and I did this because I love the balloons they remind me of the B Bristol Balloon Fiesta the first year that happened was in the 1970s I can't remember what year it was but I was living in Mangotsfield at the time and we actually saw the balloons going overhead and we watched them from the window and I did it because it reminded me of that and it's various pencils, there's polychromos on there I'm pretty sure there's black widows on there the background is new colour too and it looks better on camera than it does in real life but actually it's quite nice um, I'm actually quite proud of it because I just bit, bit the bullet and went and did it so I can actually see that I've missed a little leaf there but that's okay <laughs> next time I get the book out uh, I might colour that one in I might not a lovely book. Uh, next I have Fairy Tales by Emily Lederhull-Oberg, excuse me. I 
again. I've only done one in here. I do apologise. I'd love to do more. Oh, I love that one. Um, see, and they are just beautiful pictures. Absolutely stunning. I want to do that one. See, there's so many. Oh, I've got so many books that I just want to colour them all, and I haven't got time. I just love them. Oh, that is such a nice Christmas one. I am going to have to do that this Christmas, this one here, because you've got the ornaments and she's, we've got the the reindeer here uh, and the snow I love it but I did do this one of the dress and we did this using watercolors and I can't remember which ones but it doesn't really matter but it was watercolors um, so the watercolors do come up quite nicely on this it was one of the set of pencils I've got I don't think which ones I've actually used I used W. H. Smith's which I like Castle Arts, they're all right too. I don't know, it was watercolours, but I like it anyway. I think that looks really pretty. But they are, look, but they are really nice, sweet pictures, very whimsical. And I do like a bit of whimsy. And then I've got The Beauty of Horror 2, Guliana's Creepatorium. It's the only one I've actually completed a page in. I have actually got a kind of plan set up for next one, month, so at the end of this week you will actually see my colouring plans for September, hopefully. Um, I did this one, this was a colour along with John from Colouring by Moonlight, previously known as the Bibliophile Colourist. Um, yeah, which is the, the Shining Girls, the twins from The Shining. This was done with, this was definitely done with the WH Smith pencils. And there's some ink tents. I think the ink tents is on the carpet and the curtains, but the rest of it is the Bruce Smiths. Definitely remember, I remember doing, I really enjoyed doing that one. But I love just these creepy horror books. I'm gonna have to do that Ouija board at some point, planchettes and all the scary stuff. Clowns don't particularly bother me. I know some people don't like them. Big spider. I don't like spiders, but I actually wanna color some of the big spiders in these books. It's really bizarre. Uh, but I love this, a little pram with the octopus tentacles coming out of it. Yeah, kind of, I really, really like this book. And I've got the full and um, the small, I think it's the Halloween one. I've got to get the small Christmas one. And book five is due out tomorrow. But I don't think it's coming until the 31st here, sadly. I'm just going to get a few more books. I'm going to go to my hardbacks and then I'll be back. Okay, on to the hardbacks. We're going to start with Hannah Carlson. These are not in any particular order. Uh, seasons. This is one I've coloured in quite a bit actually. Not a, a huge amount, but I have coloured a few pictures in here. I really like this book. Um, I love, I mean, I love the Christmas pages. I hope there's more Christmassy ones this year. I have done one in here. There's actually quite a lot of Christmas related in here. And I did this one um, of the mice in the Christmas tree, hanging the ornaments. And this was done with polychromos, glitter gel pens, and the background is pebbles chalks. And to be fair, it, it does come off a bit, but not much. I need to get my spray and spray it really. But I do, look, I love this one. Oh, these are just stunning. There's so many wintry ones. I know there's some Halloween, so I love that. Star ones as well, and I haven't done, I love that one. Yeah, so I'll be getting this book out, I think, towards the end of this year. I mean, I just, I just love Hannah Carlson. I love what she does. I said I've coloured loads of this, I haven't found another one yet, but I know I've coloured more than one. Oh, I've done a two two pages together, haven't I? That's why. So I've only done three. <laughs> so tell me that's a lot in one book, if it's not a pattern book. <gasps> Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Hey, isn't that gorgeous? And I've done, oh, what's that one? Oh, I love the girls, and I, I do like kind of girls. So I did that one and then this one was done this year and I'd love this one and this was done this this one was done with polychromos and there's some gel on there and it's probably it's the Cura Jelly Roll I really am proud of this one I absolutely love this one and this one I did a, a, a while back and I do love it 
I cannot tell you what pe pencils it was. I'm going to want to say possibly Black Widows, but I don't know. And um, we've got some um, stickles on it. The only thing that's going to be a problem is it's going to make doing this book belongs to page a bit bumpy, but I will manage. But I really do like this book and I love these two pages. That in fact, I've done these two and they look good. And I just love this book. I'm definitely doing more on that this year. Next one is Summer Nights. As you can see, I've got the English language version and I am tempted to get the newest one, Tales from Witch Cottage, as soon as it comes out rather than waiting for the English version just because I desperately want it. And it doesn't make really any difference because there's no writing inside, there's no story. If there was, it would be a different uh, matter. But I don't think there's much in this one, probably just one. Oh, there's one here for a start. Let's go through it. Oh, that's nice. Let me just, there it is. I think this is one of the very first pictures I did in a Hannah Carlson. And while I like it, I think the, the, the light on her hair is not quite right, but it's all right. Can't remember what pencils it was. There's some gel pen on there as well. And I did these as like stargazer or day lilies, whichever you want to call them. They just remind me of lilies my dad's had in his garden. I don't know if there's another one done in here. Oh yeah, there is, I can see one. But I do, look at the keys, I'm going to have to do them. I'm on, I, I love, I love them all. I really want to do the honeycombs as well. So while I don't like circles, these honeycombs, they don't bother me at all. It's very strange. I'm just a bit weird. <laughs> I like being weird, who wants to be boring and normal? Not me. I love this. This is beautiful. I do think her girls are absolutely stunning. And while I wouldn't wear piercings like they do, I think, do think they look amazing. It's just not for me, and that's fine. Um, another one I've done. I remember doing this one. I can't remember what pencils I used, but there's pebble chalks in the background. And I posted this one on Instagram, and Hannah Carlson actually liked it, which is really nice. In fact, I had one liked by... Um, I've done one with Bambino crayons this month and they liked it. Bambino crayons actually said it was adorable, so I'm really pleased. Um, I've also done this one and this is just done with gel pens. And so you can see I actually dated that one. So it tells you I did it back in 2017. <laughs> oh dear me, I've had some of these books for so long and I've hardly done any. Uh, next one is Magical Dawn. I think this is the first one I got. It was either this one or Summer Nights, I can't remember. That's one of the two. And again, I've hardly done anything in this, but there's so much in here. I'm going to do it this way because it's easier to do these this way, even if it's a bit more. I mean, look at that, how beautiful that is. Flowers. The cat. I mean, I'm not for colouring cats, but you can't deny that that is gorgeous. I just love her girls, I really do. And I've done this one, this was one of the first, very first ones I did as well, I remember doing this one. Probably Christmas, I, I would say. I love that, oh another Christmas type one, well baubles, morning dew, stars. And oh, look at this, I just look how beautiful, I mean, I wish I could draw like this, I wish I could draw. So that's Magical Dawn. And then the last, but one Hannah Carlson is her first, which is Daydreams. I've only definitely done, done one here, I know that for a fact, because I've only bought this one this year, so I haven't had much chance. I quite like that one. Oh, that's nice. I mean, they are, I mean, I've looked at them all, and you look at them again, you think, oh, I actually really like that one. I love the crown. I mean, obviously I'm not showing you them all. There's bound to be plenty of flip-throughs with these books up on YouTube. But I have done this double page. I think it took me two months, separate months to do it, or I did it all in one month. I can't actually remember. So she's got red hair, she's got blonde hair. Um, can't remember. Black Widows, I'd say, looking at the colours in the hair. And obviously some gel pen. While I love stickles, I do use gel pens far more. Just because you haven't got that clumpiness on the page before. Page after. So... Yeah. Then 
we've got her, the last one I've got is mid, uh, Tales from the Midnight Masquerade. This is the slightly smaller, but I still love it. I think it's beautiful. And I am going to colour every single page. So I have done the title page, Tales from the Midnight Masquerade. I'm probably going to do this one next that this book belongs to, just because I want to get it done and then it is done. I just think this is so beautiful. They're all gorgeous. I'm not going to do it in order, but I know I want to colour every single picture in. The only picture I've done in this one properly is this one. And again, I'm sure it's probably Black Widows. Yeah, Black Widows, looking at the purples, with pebbles, chalks on the background. I just think these are so, so beautiful. I can't wait to do more in here and it is hard to choose be oh that's quite a cute one because the pictures are just so amazing it's like oh I don't know what to do I quite I might do that mask actually I love that yeah she's holding it there as well it is this, it's very similar it hasn't got the bit up here but it has got the so you would do them similar as a close-up version oh it's a beautiful book. We'll now move on to the Maria Trollet books I've coloured in and again I think there's only one picture in each of these. I think for the majority of the rest of the books it is only going to be one page, maybe two at a push. So Nightfall, well, again I, I would have done one in here, I just don't know where it is. But I think these are just such beautiful pictures. Sometimes she's got little ghost there I think it's cute and, and there so sometimes she's got these weird little things and sometimes they've got black backgrounds which is great so you don't have to worry about it if you wanted to you could put some stars up there I think you've got look at that beautiful and I just love them I think they're stunning tulips or narcissi whichever ones you want one little hedgehog I think is adorable I love hedgehogs so there we go I have done one in here and I did this one of the girl sitting in the sunflower. I think it's probably Black Widow. I wouldn't, I don't know. I'm terrible at remembering what colours I've used because I don't keep a record. But yeah, I think that's the only one I've done in that book. But again, they are beautiful. Oh, I'm putting them behind me on the bed. Next we've got, I oh, see only two I've done, oh, Twilight Garden. I've got all of the books, but I've only coloured in two of them. I, well, I haven't, I've got a whipping one, haven't I? Yeah. So again, some black backgrounds so you don't have to worry about it. Some white backgrounds. I mean, look at that, it's just so beautiful that you could just, ah. Oh. And you've got the little flags going through it and the light bulbs and little birds here and there. I think they're just magical. I love these fox foxes. I have to do the fox. Um, I mean, let's be honest, we've all got more colouring books than we need. Somebody I know said they had over 600. I can't think of who it was. They are going to get rid of some, but... And the only one I've done in this book is this one, and it was a really simple one of strawberries and raspberries. And I've done the little strawberry flowers there, as you can see, because I know what strawberry flowers look like, because... Um, my dad grows strawberries, so there you go. Um, I, they just make me smile. These pictures make me smile. They really, really do. Absolutely love, lovely. I love the way that the trees growing on the the the, the, the um, pile of. Uh, mud or manure in the, the wheelbarrow. I think it's brilliant. That deer is gorgeous. So that one is Twilight Garden. I do need to do some more. Then we're on to the two Clara Markova books I've actually got and coloured in. I've got one more which I'm going to be carrying in soon on a colour and chat which is the uh, uh, Temple Enchantments but I've got Magical Delights. I've only done one in each of these books because I've only had them well not even a year yet so but oh my god, these pictures, they're so whimsical. 
they're fun. Technically they're single sided although they do have this little bit here. Now you can either colour in that or just leave it. I'm not going to colour that in. So if you really wanted to for instance do this one in markers it's nothing to stop you and how dare anybody criticise anybody who wants to colour in a book like this in markers. It's their book. It's not like they're ruining the next picture. It's not like I'm colouring in that picture and that picture's on the back and it's being ruined. It's a blank page so why not? I certainly will do some markers in here and the Drew Reese by Maria Trolley, her very very first book is single sided on most pages though so I will use markers in that one and it'll be nice to use markers in that one. Okay, I think that's just adorable. It was sitting on a snail. That's it. I've seen that one done and it's been done beautifully and this is the one I did. Um, don't remember but it's got <laughs> which ones I, I think it was I think they might be polychromos yeah I think it's polychromos because that looks like green gold olive green or olive gold or whatever it's called and yeah the pomegranates love them you remember eating pomegranates when I was a kid but I love this book there we go and the last book in this flip is this section and we'll have one more episode of my complete coloring books have you counted them? Because <laughs> I know I haven't. Um, is the latest one she's brought out is Fairy Touch of Magic at the moment. There isn't another new one yet. And I'm fingers crossed they won't because I've only got two more to get. Fairy Celebrations and Fairy Miracles. So I can't afford to get them just yet, but I will be. And again, I've done one in here. I really enjoyed doing this one as well. That was fun uh, when we get to it. But I think that's just so cute. This is a, a Christmassy one, so I will be getting them out at Christmas hopefully to do something like that one and again you've got this on on the side some of them are double pages some of them aren't but where they are double pages they've got this which is where you can write on what you've used or you can you know you can use markers if you want to I'm not saying I'm going to in all of them but because I do like using pencils in this I've, I've you know in these books very smooth paper but it's very nice so I know Polly's go down on nicely on it. I'm wondering about the Prismas. I don't know. But look, they're just adorable. Look at that. And that one. I just, nice there. It's just, I just think they're really beautiful. I wish I could draw like this. I wish I could. I could have lots of ideas for colouring books, but I wouldn't be able to execute them, you know. Uh, so pretty. I do love these books. I'm so pleased I've got them. They're not cheap. They come out at, in total, to ship from the U to the UK from uh, the person I buy them from. It comes to £39. And, but that does include shipping, so. There we go. I love that one. Here's the one I've done. I've done one in here and I did this one and I'm really proud of this one. I love the way it looks. This was done with polychromos and I'm very very proud of my proud of it. I, I really enjoyed this one. So that is part what seven of my complete colouring book collection. I have one more part to go. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see me colouring any of the books i've shown in this video leave me a comment down below and let me know and i'll happily put it on my list of videos i need to make and i will see you in part eight our eighth and final part i'll see you soon bye everyone